Hello everybody, Vagrant Gaming, and here we are going back again in the Just For Fun series on Veratrix, the Lobby Virulent Sniper. We've got another Void Star, this should be the second Void Star, and we're just going to charge right in. Now I had thought that it was me and a couple of people over here on the, on the, I think this is the east door. Sadly, it was not, and once my partner there died, I'd realized that I had made a huge mistake <laughs> because I, there's like three or four people chasing after me. Fortunately, the rest of the team got the job done on the other side and they planted the bomb. And now I'm thinking I'm going to get torn to pieces by the rest of these guys. Fortunately, most of them ran off and it was just me and this one guy who turns out is level 15, which I did not notice. So, once it was just me and him and I started shooting, Things started to look a lot better. Tossed the diversion on the ground, lower his accuracy, and then, well, the Juggernaut showed up. So, it wasn't all that scary. <laughs> so now I'm going to heal up, and then we're going to run ahead and try to catch up to the group. Okay, so, making some fine progress. Going to try to get this bridge dropped, but before that, we got to get rid of the Sage. In between the two of us, it doesn't take long. And it looks like the rest of the team is on the other side, and they're about to drop their bridge as well. So, we've got some good momentum going. Now, we're going to charge in, see if we can pop through the second door. Now, fighting the bridges, if you see someone with a knockback coming towards you, that's where it's perfectly normal to get nervous. Uh, commandos are probably the most dangerous. Well, not, maybe not necessarily the most dangerous, but commandos and snipers together because they both have a knockback that's omnidirectional. It shoots out in like every direction. If it's like a sage or a shadow assassin, their push pretty much goes in like a cone radiating from in front of them. Guardians, they can knock you back a good amount of distance, but again, it's one person in one direction. Whereas if people surround snipers and commandos from the from bad angles, like they can knock multiple people off the bridge at once. But we made it to the other side, no problem. And now we're gonna get to fighting with these guys. We're gonna try to DPS them down and plant that down. There's an opening, gonna push in. And I usually rotate the camera, and I see two people running right at me, like as soon as I started planting, which is unfortunate. We still have enough people so we can put up a good fight. And we're just going to see if we can keep on pushing through. And one of the mistakes that I keep making is, like, I'll reapply Poison Dart and my Corrosive Grenade even when I don't need to. Because I just kept losing track of who I was shooting at. So let's see if this works better. Nope, that Sage was right on. Good job interrupting. So we've got the dots through the cull. Pop the dodge because a sentinel just left at me. I'm gonna try it again. Switch just to throw a quick stun over there. And we're back into it. And again, it's um if just in case you're new to checking out how viral and sniper works, it's at this level, it's pretty simple. You throw your poison dart, and then you follow that up with your corrosive grenade. And the, by hitting the corrosive gr grenade second, it can spread both of your dots to anybody in range of that grenade. It, provided that you hit someone with the grenade that had already been hit by the dart. It takes a little getting used to. Uh, it took me a little while to get used to it. I think I used to throw them in the reverse order because... I'm pretty sure the grenade also applies a slow. It's only like 30%, but when you're ranged, you want to slow the melee down as much as you can. So I, I used to lead with a grenade just so it would slow people down, but then when I realized that the grenade would spread <laughs> the dots, I started practicing reversing the order. And after a little while, I started to get it down, and now I probably didn't think about it. I just lead off with the corrosive dart. Now, fortunately, the fight's pretty well tucked away from me, so I can kind of precast for a little bit, although that just came to an end when they notice me. I've got my Gunslinger pumping away, as well as those two melee. So, I drop back behind this pillar, 
because at the very least the gunslinger couldn't reach me. He's trying to with that AoE, but I'm out of range. And now the two melee are gone, and now I can return fire on the gunslinger. So got the dodge of the grenade, drop in the call, down he goes. Of course, I had some help, but point being, it was just by adjusting the positioning a little bit, it saved me from a world of hurt, because between the three of them, if I stayed right where I was, I would have been killed. So we got this, the second door down, and now we're going to push forward, see if we can drop the force fields that will reveal the final door. And as we're going through, it's actually a good idea to just to take people out. When you're crossing the first, the first door, and you're trying to get the bridges, it can work to your advantage to just stun them, because otherwise there's just going to be a bunch of people waiting for you. So what we like to do sometimes is wait till you can blow the second door and then go on a killing spree, because that pushes them back behind that final barrier. And as you can see, we pretty much push through this last section with little resistance. So now, the final door. Let's see if we can get this. I get in position, I drop Hunter down just in case, and by the time the Vanguard charged up the stairs, his health was already pretty low, although granted, um, his level was a bit lower than mine. Now, one note just for ranged in general, this is a good spot for you to hang out in if there's people in range for you to target. The focus is always going to be on the doors, so people are going to be planting and people are going to be trying to stop them from planting. As a ranged DPS, if you've got people down there that can be trying to make attempts to plant, there's nothing wrong with just hanging out up here and just raining punishment down, because it's a lot harder for people to reach you. And even if they do come up there after you, that's just one less person guarding the door. So, even though I'm being sloppy with um, my rotation, it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> because there's nobody up here. So, we got the last bomb planted, but the timing just didn't work out as the round is about to end. And there you have it. We got the, what they say, they call that close but no cigar. So, now we're going to move on to defense. Stand your ground. We need time to complete the transfer. So something I'm still getting a little bit better at is positioning when I'm defending. When you're attacking, just hanging out on one of the outside pillars typically works really well for me. However, the flow of battles, it's different because the people you're coming up against, they're spawning from one direction and they're fanning out coming towards you. So regardless of where you're positioned, they're pretty much going to be bearing down on you no matter what you do. Now, there are probably some people that figured out a better spot. I just kind of play it by ear as far as positioning when I'm on defense. And I think this is where I started taking a lot more hitting. When we were on offense, just the way the flow was going, I had a very easy time finding good positioning to avoid getting ripped up. But now, you know, we're at the, here at the first door. Just the, the respawns are going to be coming pretty constant. So... Things are starting off pretty good. We've got this pretty well under control. But, ah, uh, here we go. Here's my first meal. <laughs> Fortunately, the juggernaut that saved me last time, let's call her a superhero, uh, she showed up again. There's two of us. Which, plus, whichever range support we had. I think that other sniper was helping. I wasn't really in danger. But, here comes that vanguard again. <laughs> this guy has no chance. But, on one. And again, like, focus fire is a huge deal, especially if you're in a pug. I mean, you might be able to take somebody one on one, but honestly, you're going to manage your resources a lot better as far as your cooldowns if you're fighting with a group. You're going to do a ton of damage, and you're going to keep your team up. And the more of you, especially when you're on defense, it's super important to have as many bodies in play as possible. And I'm trying to get to that door before I get killed but didn't quite make it. I was hoping to drop an AoE on the door just to help clear them off of it, but what are you going to do? Okay. 
Okay. Respawn and getting back in the action. And we've got another just shy of five minutes. So we can do this. We got this. Get the dots out. Drop a call. Beautiful. That never gets old. <laughs> you know, honestly, um, I played through these matches a while ago when the when the double XP bonus, or however much it was, first started. And every now and then when I watch one of these videos to like prep it up to see if it's uh, something worth uploading for the Just For Fun series there, I'm tempted to make another sniper and do this all over again. Like, that's how much fun it is. Although, um, it's not my best class as far as, as far as max level. I usually wind up spending most of the time between a commando, a tank, and a healer. A commando healer and a guardian tank. But I've got a couple of these characters I use just for PvE, and if I ever get the hang of it, I might try out doing some more sniper play uh, when I get a chance. Although it's tricky because I'm one of the support players in the guild where if everybody else is on DPS, is I'll be the first to volunteer to grab either a healer or a tank just to fill up the composition because when, you, um, when you're in a group with your guild mates and like, you don't see any healers for several matches in a row and the other team always has them, it's, it's a little rough. <laughs> so, got a half decent position here, was able to get the knockback to push him away and which gave me the space I needed to AoE the door, which naturally gets their attention to focus on me, but it's all about clearing the objective. So I'm throwing up a bunch of my defenses and, and trying through a diversion to lower their accuracy, which helps a lot. More so with the Sentinel than with the Vanguard. The Vanguard's Ion Pulse that he's using is tech damage. Can't do much about that, but a lot of the lightsaber attacks, like the basic lightsaber attacks, They'll just pass right through. And even though I got taken out, I got a decent amount of shots in before they uh, before they dropped me. So that was a decent run as far as defending an objective. All right. So now we can get back into it again. This time heading over to the west door, and that worked out because they were just about to plant. But the downside is now I'm. Looks like I'm here alone. Yeah, all the <laughs> so I tried to call it in the chat. Hopefully someone will get the message in time because I am not long for this world. I got a couple of heals. Nice. But looks like there was just too many of them. Ooh, bonus. The door was open. Love it when that happens. Okay, this door is clear. That's good. And there's only one guy coming in. So, I'm going to take this opportunity to start shooting. <laughs> because um, when I was on the other door, I'd, I'd get a couple of shots off and then things would end very badly for me. Now, me and the other sniper are healing up. And between our collective burst, that guy didn't last too long. We get our eyes on another target, and this one's marked, so I'm assuming it's a healer. So that's where, that's where you open up with leg shot, hold them steady, and well, you saw what happened. <laughs> Man, it is so much fun leveling this class. Okay, another EOE on the door, and that's one of the things that gunslingers tend to be really good at. Is between, well, I don't have it yet, but freighter flyby or airstrike. I'm not sure what it's called inside. You've got a couple of AOEs that you can drop, like your sweeping gunfire. Ooh, nice job, my knockback. Oh, they got us. Ow. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, um, between like the flyby you get, your sweeping gunfire, and especially if you're running like saboteur or uh, engineering, you just get a ton of AOEs. Now, even though they got the bomb. We did all right. We held them long enough, and there's like less than 30 seconds on the clock. This one's, it's, it's a lot. Even if there was nobody here, they wouldn't be able to get all the rest of the plants they need in time. So, 10 seconds, and we are out of here. So, I'm just kind of goofing off right now with the dots, through the stun, and cut. Good stuff. All right. That's it. Let's see how much damage we did. 
download complete. The Imperial forces have secured the data. Pool. A little parting gift. <laughs> okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. 